Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Matt Modai with Dodge Jam. And in this video, we got a bunch of WNBA games. I think we have three total, which is awesome. So I'm going to give out my WNBA best bets. Uh, before I get into it, of course, I want to talk about the Dodge Jam Discord. I'll keep this brief because I've mentioned this at the beginning of pretty much every video for the past couple days. Um, but the Dodge Jam Discord, it's a sports betting community where we post some free picks. We post our trophies of plays that were already posted somewhere in the, um, in the Discord. Uh, we have some paid picks, which is uh, separated between prize picks and then everything else. So AGM Expert Picks is literally just everything that's not a, um, that's not a prize pick. So these YouTube videos, you get a couple picks a day. The expert ones, you're getting 10 plus, uh, which is incredibly important. We're tracking everything. So the sheet, which is in the sheet, which is uh, this Google sheet, which is in the chat here, uh, tracks all of our profit and loss by expert picks, by prize picks, and then we have it uh, by total profit. So we're up. 31 units overall, which is pretty good. Looks like we've uh, Alex has been updating some of his bets this morning that have hit, which is awesome. I'm going to go through and update mine as well. Uh, so if you want to check out how we're doing, check out our profit and loss, even if you haven't decided whether you actually want to pay for picks or not, you can do that for completely free on this sheet. So my recommendation would be to just join the Discord, check out the free stuff, and then if you decide you want to pay, check out the profit tracking and see how we've been doing, and then you can kind of go from there. But for this video, like I said, I got some WNBA best bets. And the play that I am taking is I'm actually backing the Fever plus first half spread plus nine against the Aces. So this is about just under a four unit play for me. So I'm going to round this one down to exactly four units. So this is a hundred dollar bet for me. Indiana Fever plus nine first half spread. So yeah, let's, so let's just talk about this for a second. So um, looks like right off the bat. Um, so I bet this at... Um, Caesars at minus 110 odds. The odds jam line looks like the odds changed a little bit. Has this at minus 125. Uh, with the big removed, it's priced at pretty much exactly minus 115. The odds changed a little bit, so now this only equates to a 2.11% profit margin. But I still do really like the bet. Um, and the reason why, so everything checks out from a math perspective, right? It's uh, the odds jam line with the big removed, prices it at minus 115. The uh, Caesars odds, which I bet it, which you saw me lock it in here, are at minus 110. So this equates to like a 2.11% profit margin. Uh, so everything checks out from a math perspective. It's positive expected value. The market width is only at 18 cents, which is pretty good being below 25. Um, but the real reason why I like this one, and this is the strategy I've been using to find so much success with WNBA betting, is look at where every other book prices this total at. So granted, we only have odds for two books as of right now for this first half spread. But so the Caesars has it at plus nine at minus 110 odds, right? Then the next book we have it at was the Fever at plus eight and a half. And they have this all the way at minus 117 at an even lower spread. So if the Fever win, uh, excuse me, are down by exactly nine, we would have pushed our bet while we would have lost if we had taken this on Caesars. And we would have even gotten as good of a payout. We wouldn't have even gotten as good of odds. And then the two sharper books, Bet Online has this at plus eight. And then the Ajdam line has this at plus eight as well. So two of the sharper books in the world, well, one being the sharpest book in the world, which is the Ajdam line, has this at plus eight. So um, getting this total at plus nine was not only a positive expected value when you compare um, the Caesars odds with the Ajdam line odds, but it's also positive expected value and currently beating the closing line just from a totals perspective. So again, this strategy is how I've had so much success betting on the WNBA. Um, you're not only looking, again, for positive EV plays, but you're looking for discrepancies in the actual totals as well. And uh, this is uh, something that I think could that has been really, really profitable that I definitely recommend checking out for yourself. And I also recommend tailing this bet. So to confirm, we're looking at the Fever plus 9, minus 110 odds on Caesars. This equates to a profit margin of 2.11%. So uh, basically the way this works, this, this percent, um, this is your percent edge over the sports book can also be viewed as your uh, mathematical profit margin. So I bet 100 bucks on this one on Caesars at a 2.11% profit margin. I would figure to make $2.11 on this bet on this game. Now $2.11 obviously isn't a ton, not breaking the bank here, but a couple things to keep in mind. Number one is that this is just one bet. So um, I'll be taking multiple WNBA bets a day. If you want them, uh, the rest of them will go in the expert picks. So if you do want them, you can get them there. Uh, so this is just one bet. So if I'm taking a bunch of MLB, a bunch of WNBA, a bunch of other stuff. 
uh, that two dollars and eleven cents turns into fifty, a hundred, depending on how many bets you're placing a day. And this is also something that will be realized today. So this profit will be realized today. So unlike most forms of investments, when you are um, you have to wait months, years for your investment to realize, that's not the case with this one. So uh, it's not the case with with sports betting, which is why it's so much fun. Um, so let me just add this one to my bet tracker. I put a hundred bucks on this one. Click save. And that's going to be it. So that is going to be my official betting play for today. The uh, Fever versus, or excuse me, Fever plus nine first half spread against the Aces. If you are tailing, let me know. Would love to hear it. Uh, hit me up at my Twitter handle, Modi underscore Matt, where I post a lot of WNBA plays as well. And that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching and have a good one.